Today we will talk about two key concepts in consulting when bringing across insights, recommendations or conveying a message to your client. Um, the two terms are called horizontal and vertical flow. These two concepts help you structure your reports, your presentation and even your detailed documents. Let's stay with the example of a presentation. So you need to draft a presentation that will deliver the core insights of a report or an analysis you made for a client. Let's first start with vertical flow. A key mistake most junior consultants make when drafting a slide that the slide does not convey a message. So for example, they are delivering data, let's say a table with some data in it that um, basically shows the development of revenues over multiple quarters or even years. And the description of the slide is just overview, column, revenues, over the last eight quarters, right? So you are describing the data that you are representing in this slide. This is a weak slide because it does not tell the audience what to think. So vertically within this one slide that you present, the slide does not convey a strong message. What the audience should feel when they look at your slide, they will typically start at the top, right? Reading the title of the slide. Let's say the data in the revenue table shows that the revenues have doubled over the last eight quarters, right? So that is basically a positive message that you want to bring across in this one slide. So why not give it a title right? Like simply revenues have doubled compared to the last eight quarters. The reaction of your audience will be much different. First, they will be sort of curious or even surprised by the message. They are sort of told what they are expected to think when looking at the data. They look at the title, revenues have doubled within two years and they're like, oh really? And then they will scan the table for the evidence, right? They are searching, okay, quarter one, the revenue was like this, quarter two, quarter three. Oh yeah, I see a pattern here. Oh, oh, yeah. So that is what you want your audience to think when they look at this one slide. The slide is flowing vertically. It is, and also in, a, in another video, right? we have brought down the concept of top-down communication. So if we, look, if we look at it like this, right? Vertical flow within one slide is sort of the practical implementation of top-down communication, but not within an entire presentation. It is the implementation of top-down communication within a single slide, right? So at the top, you start with a key insight, namely that the revenue has drastically increased. And then while you work your way, way downwards to the bottom within this slide, you provide more detailed information. So this idea of vertical flow within a slide goes very well, it pairs very well with top-down communication. So that is basically the main idea behind vertical flow within your presentation. Now let's talk about horizontal flow, right? Horizontal flow is about how the different slides in our example work together. To quickly mention this, if you have like a document, like let's say a Word document, it is more like how the chapters of the report flow together. So it is basically about different sections of your report or presentation working together. So horizontal flow in our example of a presentation is about how the different slides work together.
So are they telling a story? Now be careful, right? In another video, we talked about top-down communication. So what you do not want to do is to tell a story. Once upon a time, I was signed upon a project and I started to analyze the data. That is the wrong direction, right? You want to communicate top-down. So you want to start with the key insight first and then you work your way downwards towards the bottom with more detail. But that horizontal flow must still be there. So you have to start at the top and then you flow across your presentation. You know, you provide more and more details, right? So um, there is the, this trap of going in the wrong direction when you think about horizontal flow. When people think about horizontal flow, sometimes they have the impression they need to tell a story from the beginning. That is not the case. You can combine horizontal flow with top-down communication. That is possible. However, each slide that you tell should somehow build on the previous slide, right? Also, it is about, you know, basically the tension curve that you build within your slide. So it is also about how you prioritize the different messages that you tell. Overall, the most important messages that you want to tell should come first. So it is not like, you know, the very first slide in your presentation has to wow the audience, but it should be within the first five to 10 slides, right? You do not want to bore out the audience so that you are basically going to sleep after the first five slides. And then on slide number 20, you're finally delivering an interesting message. That's not what you want. I understand that it is very daunting to provide the most important information on the very first slide. Depending on your project, however, that might exactly be what the customer wants, so keep that in mind. But, you know, within the first few slides, the real banger should really follow. Only then will you have horizontal flow. The priority of the messages you want to convey is also important. So, with that said, I want to wrap this video up real quick. I hope the key message behind vertical and horizontal flow is clear and that this video was helpful to you. Hopefully next time you're able to combine horizontal and vertical flow with top-down communication. And if this video was indeed helpful to you, you might want to consider giving it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, consider giving the channel a subscribe. I will have more consulting related videos on here as well. And with that said, I wish you a lot of success in conveying your next message to your client. And I will see you the next time on the next video. Until then, have a good day. Bye bye.